Did you know The Boring Company? One of Elon Musk's companies is building a hyperloop that will allow you to travel from Washington to New York in just 30 minutes. Well, Elon Musk's Boring Company have finally announced a new $675 million investment and will spend the money on finally delivering hyperloop technology capable of traveling faster than an aeroplane to the world. Welcome back to Velocity. In this video, we will explain everything you need to know about the Hyperloop and the most recent news from The Boring Company. Did you know that if The Boring Company succeeds in its mission, it will do more to save the environment than Tesla at full scale? Stick around until the end and we will explain everything. In a tweet, The Boring Company released the news that they have just secured $675 million from investors for their Series C round. This values the company at $5.7 billion. Elon Musk's civil engineering firm, The Boring Company, was famously launched as kind of a joke, but it will try to succeed where others have failed by building a working hyperloop. Bullet trains are very common in Europe and Asia, but the hyperloop will be able to move at speeds of two to three times faster than any bullet train. The estimated speed is 750 miles per hour. They have confirmed that they will use these funds to further develop their tunneling technology and finally implement the high-speed transit system. So how does it all work? The Hyperloop is a high-speed public transportation system that travels without friction thanks to a vacuum pressure tube. Pods accelerate through a low-pressure tube using electric propulsion. Because there is no air in the Hyperloop and thus no wind resistance, there is almost no drag, allowing the pods to accelerate to incredibly high speeds. Due to its ultra-low aerodynamic drag, the pod floats along the rail utilizing magnetic levitation and can glide at airline speeds for long distances. Passengers would be seated in autonomous cars that rocket through a sealed tube reaching speeds of above 750 miles per hour. Hyperloop systems can run above or below ground. You can go down much further than you can go up. You can have as many tunnel levels as you want and can alleviate all traffic," said Elon Musk on the Joe Rogan podcast, which suggests they are likely to see a Hyperloop underground. The LA subway extension that was just completed cost $2 billion for two and a half miles, Musk said during a boring company event in LA. He then followed up with, so clearly, something needs to be done to revolutionize tunneling technology. We need to be able to build tunnels way faster and for a lot less money. This explains why Elon and the Boring Company have been focusing heavily on developing the world's most advanced tunnel boring machine called the Proofrock. Proofrock is a next-generation tunnel boring machine designed to construct mega infrastructure projects in a matter of weeks instead of years and at a fraction of the cost, said the team at the Boring Company. The latest version of this machine is called Proofrock 2. This is a scaled-up version of their initial concept and can mine at up to one mile per week. This means that a tunnel the length of the Las Vegas Strip can be completed in just one month. To put these numbers into perspective, a normal tunneling machine is capable of traveling at just 120 meters per day and would take over two months to complete a tunnel the length of the Las Vegas Strip. If each proofrock machine mines one mile per week and they can produce one new proofrock machine per month, then the boring company will be able to tunnel 600 miles per year. To put those numbers into perspective, in the last 20 years, less than 20 miles of underground tunnel has been constructed in the United States. Simply put, it takes too long and is too expensive. As part of the expansion of the Las Vegas Convention Center, this machine is likely to be used for the first time. Additionally, cities in California, Florida, and Texas are in talks with the Boring Company about implementing new loop systems. In addition to all of this positive news for tunnels, the company will also be delivering a hyperloop between Washington and New York that is set to revolutionize the commute between the two cities. The current travel time is between 3.5 and 4 hours, depending on if you are driving or taking the train and the hyperloop. It is expected to reduce this to just 30 minutes travel time. In a recent tweet, the company announced that hyperloop testing would begin at full scale later this year. Before the official tweet, Elon has been chatting on Twitter about the Hyperloop with his followers writing. From a known physics standpoint, this is the fastest possible way of getting from one city center to another, for distances less than about 2,000 miles. The Boring Company team are also developing the third version of Proofrock that will be designed to go significantly faster to save time, money, and accelerate the adoption of tunnels. Proofrock 3 is aiming to be able to tunnel 7 miles per day. Elon Musk famously joked whilst at TED Talk that the current boring technology is 14 times slower than a snail. Uh, 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 currently, he's capable of going 14 times faster than, than, than a tunnel boring machine. 
<laughs> okay. You, you so want to beat Gary. We want to beat Gary. <laughs> yeah. Jonah Rossman, an executive at TUM Boring, has also admitted that current tunneling technology is too slow. He said, it is off-putting to any developer looking to build a tunnel. In order to speed up the development of the technology and lay the foundations for the best practices, Elon Musk has created a competition called Not A Boring Competition to unearth great minds in the space and get a head start. The competition is to create new tunneling technology and to be crowned the winner, you must check two boxes. Number one, must be the fastest of all 14 competitors. Number two, must move faster than a snail. The concept of a Hyperloop has been around for quite some time. Long before he started the boring company, Elon Musk published a 60-page document outlining his vision for a Tesla and SpaceX joint Hyperloop. The Hyperloop Alpha was released as an open-source design by Elon Musk back in 2014, at a time when he was laser-focused on building Tesla and SpaceX, so had no interest in starting a new company. The trademark Hyperloop, applicable to high-speed transportation of goods in tubes, was issued to SpaceX on the 4th of April 2017. Since 2014, Richard Branson's Virgin Group has been developing their Hyperloop system, but they haven't gotten very far with the venture, it would seem. The group have only gotten to test a concept on a 500-meter track where they sent two people and achieved a speed of just 102 miles per hour. The project was then shut down with an announcement confirming that Virgin will abandon the human transit system, but may pursue a cargo version of the system instead. Even when Elon Musk provided the initial designs and plans, the Virgin Group backed by billionaire Richard Branson could not pull it off. This shows how difficult it is to successfully bring a Hyperloop to reality. But if Elon Musk, the genius billionaire, can pull this off, then it will be a huge advancement in public transit systems. The adoption of the Hyperloop would do more for reducing emissions and fighting against climate change than Tesla will do at full scale. So how will the Hyperloop do this? One of the largest contributors to harmful CO2 emissions is aircraft flights. Planes are bigger, use more fuel, and emit a lot of air pollutants. Domestic flights are much more common than international flights, so if the Hyperloop can step in and provide a faster, cheaper, more efficient alternative to domestic city-to-city -city travel, then this will reduce pollution considerably. It is not known how long Elon Musk has been thinking about the Hyperloop project, but we do know why he started conceptualizing the idea as he discussed the project with Joe Rogan. Before relocating the Tesla headquarters to Austin, Texas, Elon Musk lived and worked in Los Angeles, California, where the traffic is notoriously bad. We all get frustrated by traffic, but Elon Musk decided to do something about it. He started scheming the best way to solve this problem and came up with the idea of a network of tunnels underground that would allow people to move quickly. Elon Musk is the most successful entrepreneur of our generation and has revolutionized the space industry, car industry, payments industry, and if history is to be a guide to the future, he will soon revolutionize the domestic travel industry. Would you ride a Hyperloop at 750 miles per hour? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and make sure you're subscribed to Velocity for the best tech news.